Lucy Boy here and I'm back with some more Fallout 4 Vault Tech Workshop DLC and we're going to do the quest line, the watering hole. Now we're here at a hallucinogen and I just wanted to mention that um, while I was doing my recording it actually did not record. Um, so I pretty much probably about a quarter of the video of me going through hallucinogen um, did not record. I don't exactly know why but at the same time um, I'll just uh, warn you what's going in well it's obviously called hallucinogen so it's actually a gas that's um, come out inside the building so it didn't affect me I think it's because I'm in power armor but I'm not sure but everyone else in there has uh, cracked it and they're uh, gone mad so you just can't it's not hard they're just a bunch of gunners um, but yeah in a second it's going to cut to from where it actually started recording so Sorry about that guys, um, you're just going to have to, I didn't get very far from when it cuts to uh, the recording, I didn't get that far into it, I think I went up a level and that was about it, so anyway guys, bear with me with that one, so here's what where it actually started recording, uh, please forgive me for doing that, but I uh, hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video, so thanks for coming on by and uh, let's hit it. Test chamber terminal, oh okay, here we go. Like minus two. Saw a dud in there. Yes. Sweet has been detected. Error. Oh, what? Evacuate the building. Data corruption detected. Damn it. Well, that was a big waste of time. So. By the looks of things, we're all pretty fucking screwed, aren't we? How the fuck do we get into this place? Now, where was I before with it? Was here. Okay, so let's head on up. We'll head on down. So, what have we got up here now? How are we looking? Welcome to the hallucinogen oh, nice. lab's observation. Oh, you're supposed to do it from up here, I guess. Step up to the windows for a demonstration of our products and development. Computers, ah, oh, fucking computers, man. Hey, computers. Sweet. Oh, but they love me. Procedure. Well, that's all good, so. I'm guessing this is what we're supposed to watch, and this is a biohazard weapon. Hallucigen's dispersant is ideal for peaceful. Blah blah blah. Invisible from. Oh fuck! I missed, missed someone. Provides your forces with a state of the. Oh, right in his ass. Look at that. Oh fuck. Small amounts of residual radiation fuck. may persist in the affected area. Well, look, he ended up all the way down there. Ah oh, well, let's head on over. Head on out. Oh, something's down, something's down. That must be the guy I killed before. What? Oh, we hear these guys just going nuts. Surprise, cockface! Do it again. Again. Oh shit, this guy down there. Oh, put one right on his lap. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> I think part of him ended up up here. Please evacuate the building. Evacuate the building. He didn't look too good though, just see him, he looked pretty fucking hard up on it. Like something had gone wrong, man. Really, really wrong. I can hear her. Get in here, girl. I'm gonna need you, gonna need you. Nice. What do we got here? Just some antifreeze and shit. Nothing around really that good. I don't know how that got up there. Cement and shit. It's all good. Where's my girl at? Need you to unhinge me, man. Fuck, where is she? Oh, fuck. Man, yeah, where is she? I can hear her. 
there's got to be a door linking to something. Oh, fuck, really? That's even worse. Yeah, where are you? Shit. It must almost be there, surely. Mm, I'm just gonna have to drop some more shit, I guess. Unless there was a door I missed up here that I could open. I don't think there was. Oh, there she is, right there. Maybe I can get through the door. Hey. Hmm? Oh, Trade. Sure. Nice. Make me carry more of your junk. Oh yeah. Nice. That's pretty lucky. She wants to just carry all that for me. Thank you. Come again. Alright. Looks like we're almost there, dudes. Oh, yay. Nice. Oh, yay. <laughs> Opening mag locks, man. Well, it looks like we're almost there. I hope so anyway, because this is getting a bit long. Oh, yay. Computers again. Love computers, even though I'm an expert at it. Got it. There you go. Start decontamination. Oh, no. Start decontamination. Well, a couple of dead dudes in there anyway. All right, let's ride. Yes. Hey. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. oh shit. Wow, she's powerful. Well, it looks like there might be another guy in here. See if I can find him. He was a commander, wasn't he? Ha ha ha. Got your ass. Oh. Maybe this is the other guy. Unless he's what done. The? Where you at, man? What are those? Ruptured canisters? Probably no good to us. Well, this is some pretty serious shit, girl. I have nothing here that has anything in it, though. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Two of them. This fan. I'm not sure if we need these, but I could break them down to something, maybe. Oh, two more here as well. Nice. Ammo is always good. Well, I think that might be everything, dudes. Development test. What's this shit, man? Oh, just the results. Alright, let's pick this up. Oh, there's another one. Alright, oh, here we go, research. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, shit, I'm carrying too much again. Report back to the overseer. Well, that's probably what I'm going to have to do. Alright guys, I think I'm almost finishing up this quest pretty damn soon, so I'll head on over to the Overseer, finish this up, and I'll see you guys in two secs. 
All right, guys, here we go. We're back at the vault, uh, back at my beautiful vault. A few things I've added onto here, but I will probably show you later on when I've finished them up. So I'm over in Cumid, so I don't know how much buy. I only buy eight, not much. It's because I've got all the steel and shit that I picked up. And my overseer's room, pretty damn cool. Let's see what she has to say. Finally. Vault 88's work can truly begin. What work, man? Actually, I think I might dump a few things first. And then worry about it. After, what can I dump? I don't think I can dump anything. Well, I've got a whole heap of shit. Um, but yeah, not really much I can tr I'm just about to stay over in Cumin, I think, for now. Finally, Vault 88's work can truly begin. Okay. I have Talk those me. chemical formulas for you. Marvelous. Now we can reform another societal picadillo. Picadillo. Break. Whether it rears its head around the coffee pot, water cooler, or soda fountain, it's a menace. Vault Tech scientists have conducted experiment after experiment to eliminate this inefficiency. But people feel an irrational need to socialize. What? So if they must squander their time. Let us turn it into the collective good with chemistry. What? what? Aren't chemicals bad for you? Oh, Clem, you worry so much, my boy. Where the hell's Clem? Everything you eat and drink is made of chemicals, don't you know? Oh, right. What the hell? Very she looks like an alien, doesn't she? These are just special chemicals. Oh. <laughs> Uh, what the hell? Uh, let me just dump this first. I don't want to be walking around and shit first. Um, what can I dump? Something that I've got a lot of cloth. Something a bit heavy, maybe. What are those? Oh, canisters. Fuck them. It's probably why I'm so heavy. Fuck that shit. Um, what type of chemicals? What type of chemicals are we talking about? Well, that's up to you. But from what I've read, the R&D folks really outdid themselves. Oh, she looks like an alien. Should be fun. <laughs> this should be fun. Now, there's the vault tech spirit. Oh, what so the fuck, really? The no way. And then, serve refreshments to our residents. Well, that's a and bit of a glitch right there, isn't it? If you get thirsty on the job... Um, sorry about that, guys. That is a real glitch right there thanks i think it's because he's down a level and she's up a level um she fucking shouldn't be up here okay now time to build the soda fountain i don't know where the fuck that's gonna go but i'm gonna have to make some space for it where can i build it um it's gonna be downstairs somewhere oh wrong one is it just anywhere i can build it or so I've pretty much used up a lot of the land space on the floor. Um, where is it? Shit, it's downstairs somewhere. Oh, Clem talking through buildings and shit. Sorry about that glitch before. Um, I wonder where I have to go and build it. Oh, there must be something in here I gotta grab. Like what? Um, workshop. Oh. Soda time. Oh, well, I guess it doesn't have to be that bad, so... I guess I could do it now. So my guess is just, uh... I'll probably just put it in the, uh, cafeteria. What's that on the back, is it? It's energy. How am I going to get a power? That's a good question. I'm gonna have to figure that out too. Uh, and it needs power. 
All right, well, I'm going to have to change a few things around and get power to it, guys. So give me two ticks and I'll get some power to it. Okay, guys, there's a little bit of tinkering. Um, I put it in my cafeteria, obviously, but I didn't realize it needed power. Um, so I pretty much had to rig something up real quick. Uh, it looks pretty tacky, but I pretty much put it in the cafeteria, which everyone comes and eats, and uh, hooked up to a couple of... Uh, you know, wiring, moved it into there, I've got actually a power thing in there, um, I'm not sure if I can put a door in there anymore, because I know it looks, it looks, I don't want it to look too fucking tacky, that's all, but I've got some, something in there that I'm going to maybe show you in a, a later video maybe, um, but yeah, pretty much rigged it up to there, wired it all the way across, right into here, and then once you've done that, once you've planted it and got power to it, you need to hook it up to a, a terminal. So let's go ahead and do that. Put you on there and hit you on the behind. And now that I've done that, I've got to set it. To soda fountain experiment appetite suppressant mood enhancer generic caffeination notes from dr braun after the initial stockpile of food and drink uh, depleted vault residents will become accustomed to anything given to them this gives us the intriguing possibility of adding chemical supplements to their diet with them being none the wiser after much focus testing we've settled on the soda, the soda fountain, fountain, no doubt. The only limit here is our chemical ingenuity. Make Voltec proud. Choose a chemical experimental parameters: appetite suppressant, mood enhancer, generic caffeination. Let's go with appetite suppressant. You know, I don't have to do as much food, but we'll see how it goes. Like an appetite suppressant. Oh, of course. Set parameters. Let Kim have soda for an hour. Open for business. Where is Clem? Clem, bro, where the fuck is Clem? Um, I don't see Clem anywhere. Let's see if I could just sit down and wait for an hour. That was up. Auto saving. There's old Clemmy. Going on, Clem. Excuse me. Pens. You here to check How up? Much does it I got cost? a customer right here. Didn't see you at dinner. I had a pee. One pee. I'm stuffed. Well, if you want another drink. Sure. Maybe that'll help. Boom. <laughs> Talk to the overseer. Wow, it looks like it's working. Um, these experiments, it depends how you want to do it, how you want to, I don't know, uh, I was thinking of going to, um, mood enhancer, but food would always be the better thing, in the long run, food would probably be always the better choice, but we'll see, oh, what the fuck, let's talk to the ABC, see what she has to say. The soda fountain shows enormous potential. <clears throat> to think we've turned the simple soda fountain into something noble. Ah, it fills me with pride. Don't know about On noble. To the next prototype. Oh, we got some more. The Hippocratic oath. A solemn vow to do no harm. Well, roughly, that's what it means. I don't want to get into interpreting dusty Latin textbooks. But that core sentiment of the medical community runs counter to what we're trying to accomplish here. Doctors shouldn't put their patients' welfare first. Instead, their sole focus should be the collective good. You Debatable. understand, of course. Well, maintain a balance, enough philosophy, the oath is right, times are desperate. 
Well, you know, it's sacrifice one for the the majority, that kind of uh, philosophy, but, you know, we have to maintain a balance, you know? I could see needing to strike a different balance here. Is that a twinge of misguided conscience? You should work on suppressing that. So, enter the Voltec Foraptor, a specialized piece of optometrist equipment that, yes, can improve a patient's eyesight, Ooh. but potentially so much more. The prototype requires a bit, well, a lot. All right, a staggering quantity of radioactive material, but the results will be worth it. <clears throat> Getting nuclear material. Yeah. Where am I going to get that much nuclear material? You're in luck. We chose this site for Vault 88 because our surveys indicate that there's a rich source of uranium Whoops. deeper inside the caves. So, dig deep and get what we need. Um, I'm pretty sure I've already dug up the uranium. Pretty sure I have. But that's the watering hole complete. What do we got up next? Um, I'm pretty sure I've already dug up. Build and power the oh, the prototype E. So looks like it's going to be another one of those prototype thingies. One of these special things. Ooh, interesting. Does it need to be jacked into power? Yes, it does. Well, that's going to go straight into my clinic. But we'll leave that for another episode. For very much later, I've got a, oh, how much um, uranium did it need? Please, not a lot. Uh, nuclear material, 25. Ooh. I've got 199 nuclear material. I've already cleared up the caves in the last episode, or off camera anyway, so... I can pretty much go straight on for when I need to, so I'll put leave it for that though. Well, anyway, guys, that's uh, watering hole completed. A bit of a run around and a bit of uh, fucking around. Um, again, excuse a couple of the glitches there. And I know this video will probably come with a bit of a uh, background noise. Um, got my kids running around with my wife, um, looking after them. But you know, how can you uh, suppress noisy kids, right? For anyone who knows, you guys know exactly what I mean. So. Again, sorry for the glitches and for the, uh, the noise and the, the kids in the background. Please forgive me. But uh, anyway, guys, I'm Noisy Boy. Uh, thanks for stopping on by. Remember to smash that like button and share. And I love chatting to everyone in there in the comment section. So please leave your comments below. Um, and again, guys, thanks for coming on by. This is Noisy Boy. I'm signing out. And as always, guys, stay noisy.